Hey, happy $12.95 shopping. So this is day two of the $12.95 sale, which is Saturday. I'm headed to work, but I was like, I got up early, got ready early. Let me give y'all a quick little haul. So as you know by now, the candles are all over Instagram. Um, some of your faves have already been shopping and dropping reviews. And as you know, I already have the summertime reviews, the playlist going on as well. So my rule of thumb is if I love it, I back it up. Not like it, I have to love it in order to back it up. By my reviews, y'all should know. Well, let's get into it. So we are going to start with my love of honeydew. Y'all, I am a honeydew fan. Growing up in South Carolina, my family had a uh, a whole honeydew. They grew honeydew. They grew watermelon. And this scent was very authentic, mixed with honeydew and watermelon. The scent notes are as follow. Juicy candy, watermelon, sour green apple, and blushing honeydew. So for the ones that have to have a heavy throw, remember, this is going to be your flamethrower. For me, I can put this out in the living room and it trickle through my whole apartment, check my review. I love it enough to put it away from me because I don't have to have strong right up on me. But when y'all love it, I love it. So not two. I think I backed it up to a third. So what I do, what I did for review purposes, I didn't go overboard when I could, when I was able to get those. I did one of everything, and like I say, if I love it, we gonna back, back, back that thing up. So we got three of the sour melon drop, and y'all, I started doing this because I don't really want to be a person. Oh, I collect candles. No, I want to enjoy what I purchase. Caramel cream soda. In the middle of her, she sold me that a and vanilla cream soda topped off with some, I can see it with some vanilla ice cream, like a cream soda float, dripped in caramel. It got me. It sold me. It sold me enough to, I got two. So the one that I actually have that I was reviewing, I'm almost finished that candle. So my summertime go-to on a sun playful, a sunny playful Saturday night. I can see this. I, I can see this. Um, scent notes were caramel, caramel syrup, bubbly cream soda, and rich vanilla. Now, the takeaway from that, like I told people, root beer is very licorice, very ginger. Two totally different things. This is just what it says it is a caramel cream soda. And then when you come down to your banana mudslide, I was looking like, oh, wait a minute. The one that I'm reviewing, I'm almost done because I told y'all this was the sleeper of the line. That rum note is there, that frozen banana, the chocolate syrup, the crushed ice, and the splash of rum. The splash of spice rum because that tingle, that twinge you get from this candle. When I went to open up my bottle of spice rum from Antigua, I was like, I knew the scent smelled familiar. This is bay. This is bay so much so... Again, the one that I'm burning, I almost finished. And then, like I said, on cold throw, you're going to get a whiff of the coconut, but that is the rum, y'all. Most spice rums have a low hint of coconut, but I guess I didn't want to put that at the forefront of the scent notes, being that we just came off a run that has so many coconut um, scents in it, y'all. And then the last one I backed up was red, white, and blue cake. That cold throw got me at that Smurf cereal or either that Captain Crunch Oops All Berry. But that very cakey note, I'm just going to chalk that up to Slatkin's Old Berry Trifle. Because you got the raspberry, you have the blueberry, you have the vanilla whipped cream. Just like a stacked strawberry shortcake but with all berries. I feel like that's their Old Berry Trifle formula. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I had a total of eight candles down here and then i had a free body here up to 1550 so the eucalyptus sandalwood and mandarin i think this is the old renew yeah i have the spray that i got off of that uh the 550 sale in the glass bottle lotion and i wanted this to complete it for the freebie so that concludes my haul y'all and my total I had one candle that was an exchange, uh, Honeysuckle Peach Spritz. I ended up with four of those, so I exchanged one. So all in all, I paid for a total of seven candles. My total came to $60 and change. I'm going to do a video to show y'all how to coupon at Bath & Body Works, what's acceptable and what's not. So you remember the $11 three-wick 
coupon. So on one transaction, I put an $11 three wick. I put my free item and I still use the 25% off. Yes, you could do that because you're still paying $11. You're going to take 25% off of that. And then there was another transaction where you had a free gift up to $8.50, right? You had a uh, another $11 three wick, right? And then you had another 25% off. If you read the back of your mailer, all of those come together, can be used together. So what I did is I, in tune, I stacked my coupons. Although I already had $12.95 as a base price, I added on one for $11. I added on my free item and I still took 25% off of that. So if you have that coupon that's telling you, hey, get any body care for $7, $8, you still can use a 25% of behind that because you're actually still paying something. So I don't know where the correlation coming in with stores telling people you can't use this, you can't use that. They came together, they could be used together. And worst case scenario, you just break up your transaction like me. But what I did is I put my 25% on my big ticket items. So again, this one right here, the $11 three wick candle, candle coupon, the free gift up to $15.50. By the time I took 25% off of this 11, my total still only came to $9.71. And that is how you coupon at Bath and Body Works. And I gotta get to work. I gotta stop by Duncan and get my latte. Thanks for y'all and them codes. And come back Sunday for the Cynical Sunday sit down because I might drop some tea on the new new one. What's to come for? Summer 3, aka Fall. Bye, y'all.